What's going on fellas? This is a quick update for Carlos. Just want to show you how things are coming along here and that work is actually taking place. What we've got right here is our combustion system and our auto ignition setup. I've basically installed a small blowtorch here which will be used to ignite the torch and I've also just got done placing an electrode. The electrode will be powered by a little push button module mounted on the control panel. That's going to light the propane torch. The propane torch is going to light the burner. And when you're running other fuels other than propane, what you would do is this device is going to have a propane tank connected inside the unit back away from the heat. It'll be screwed into the unit as a pilot light gas source. I'm going to try and make this thing shorter than this. I just wanted to make sure I had plenty of room to add the air compressor and the water pump and the control panel and all that stuff. The control panel is going to have some circuits and things like that for the transformer driving the water pump. Basically what we've got here is your preheat coil which wraps around the combustion chamber itself which does get red hot and this diamond shaped design gives us the advantage of only using the IR heat convection method rather than actually letting those coils touch that burner we're letting them stand off so that um, we don't cool the burner off cooling the burner off inhibits combustion performance on that thing and see here we have our discharge that's the steam out there is the flue assembly and as you requested we want to be able to clean this thing for when we're running dirty fuels like waste oil and things like that you will want to clean it this is i want to say about 45 foot of coil a far larger coil than i've ever run before there's the inner baffle this thing is gonna scream dude oh man I can't wait to see this bad boy. We're gonna fire it up at night for full effect so you can see the steam up against the backdrop of some darkness. That's the best way to look at steam. So what I gotta do now is I gotta chop the motor off that air compressor and mount it on a bushing tray. We can't have this thing vibrating to death. I'm gonna have to put a brace on this because all the components are just going to vibrate this poor thing a little bit more than I want to happen. But I uh, just want to give you a quick update of where we are on things. We are right on track. The ignition took a little longer than I wanted, but other than that, everything else is going smooth. So, I'm going to go ahead and post this. Nothing exciting today, guys, on this thing. I just... Wanted to show Carlos what he's got going on here. I have uh, your pump. Will be harvested from this device. It's a 320 PSI device. We're going to take the pump out of that. I also have the option of running this pump in the event that one doesn't work. This is 160 PSI. But it's a very powerful pump though. I've already sold one of these and this is the type of transformer that will be running the pump other than that there's not too much more hardware in there so that's it for this update hopefully next time you see this the compressor motor will be mounted right in here and we'll be able to chop some off the length of this thing. You're looking at 13 inches wide and about 14 inches tall. As of right now, we're doing real good on size. It is three foot long at the moment, but I'm going to try and make it even smaller than that. I'm going to try and get it about right here. Pack everything in with the compressor and we'll just have to put a powerful cooling fan to keep that cabin area cool off very well so that's one thing i haven't purchased yet other than that we're right on track on the budget as well uh, i'm going to start on the box assembly we have 
some I have some nice diamond plate that we're gonna be using to box this bad boy in and uh, for the most part we'll be sailing down the road now we got to talk about your logo what we're gonna put it on I don't know if we'd be able to if you would want it laser engraved into this or if we want to get a plaque with um, with no diamond plating on it and laser engrave onto that we'll figure something out on that end um, it might look just as cool laser engraved right onto that diamond plate I don't know though so we'll, we'll get into that down the road for now let's concentrate on the hardware and uh, things are definitely looking neat